My first guest tonight is a beautiful and talented actress. She's a good friend of the show and of mine. <laughs> I've met her once. <laughs> In show business, that means we've been married for ten years. <laughs> She's a very nice woman. Please welcome the lovely Rosie Perez, everybody. Rosie Perez. Here, uh, do you want the thing? I keep this sometimes if some of our guests are a little... Yeah, there you go. There you go. I keep this in case Tom Cruise is ever on. Is that better? Yes, that's better. All right, how are you, my dear? I'm fantastic. You are? Look at you. You look, you look lovely. You look like you're like a big, delicious, sexy salad. A compliment. Okay, thank no, you. No, you you do. You look great. Thank you. My 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 nephew um picked this dress out for himself or you? No, <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> no, he no. picked it for you. Yes, he picked it for me. How, how old is he? Thirty. <laughs> He did a good job, though. He did, yeah. Is he a dress picker outer professionally? No, no, we're just very close. That didn't sound right, but it sounded okay. Okay. You can, you can be close to your nephew, and he can pick out clothes for you. You're right. Maybe. Gonna, no, 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 it doesn't sound right. No, it sounds awful. He's yeah. gonna kill me now. No, he won't kill you. What's, what's his name? Eddie. 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 What a charming name. Yes. Yes. Hi, Eddie. Feed the dogs and walk them. Right. What's a dog? <laughs> a dog! It's a dog! <laughs> I was talking about Scooby-Doo earlier. Are you, you all right? No! What's wrong? You seem a little nervous to I'm me. I'm a little so. nervous. What's wrong? I, I don't know. You, Here, I'll you come know. around. I'll sit next to you. I don't like this whole... Okay. I, I'm, I'm worried that the whole desk is coming between us. Uh, look, there you are. Is that better? Yeah, so what's been going on with you? Well, you know, things have been up and down. I'm still in this crappy job, but I... I... <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, I've been okay. Things have been all right. I, I kind of... You know, I've been feeling a bit vulnerable. Still masculine, you know, but... <laughs> Vulnerable, and I, I've got uh, one of my teeth. I've got to have an implant done in one of my. Uh, oh. Yeah, I've got to have an implant in my mouth. I never had any cavities. Never once in your life. Never. Do you eat candy ever? All You're not going to get a round of applause. <laughs> They're not dentists. Who <laughs> knew oh. they are dentists? No, oh, guess what? What? I found out that that you. <laughs> I found out that, like, cougars love you. Cougars love me? Yeah. Of a certain age. Cougars of a certain age? Yeah. How did you find that out, then? Have you been... Do you have a... Is there a club for them or something? <laughs> no, my friend Billy told me. Your friend Billy? Yeah. Uh, uh, boy or girl Billy? Boy. Well, sometimes Billy can be a girl's name. Billy the Kid? Was a girl? <laughs> no, Billy the Kid wasn't a girl, but that's that's a, the exception that proves the rule. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go back to your desk. No, I like it here. No. I like it here. <laughs> Don't you? Does it make you nervous? Do you feel we're outside the envelope now? We're, 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 no, we're, we're I mean, the... no. Hey, yes. It's cool. It's hey, you cool. know what I wanted to ask you about actually? What? I'll put that cushion over. Right? Uh, let me just uh, put it over here. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Is that, can you see it? It's actually on the camera, look. Yeah. Uh, no, you know what I was going to ask you about uh, was um, Lipstick Jungle. You were on that, weren't you? Yeah. I loved that show, and they cancelled it. Yeah. You know why? No. To put Jay Leno on it at 10 o'clock. Really? No, I made that up, but I mean... Uh... <laughs> I like, I like that show. You worked with Brooke Shields in that show, right? I worked with Brooke Shields. Yeah. She and I go way back. Um, you know, um, I used to use her a lot. So For I, what? For what? To get, like, like, really nice hotel rooms. And, uh, <laughs> you know, 
I did. It's true. It's true. True story. How do you how do you use Brooke Shields to get a good hotel room? Because well, I'll do it. Well, we. <laughs> Well, we, we were doing this horrible movie um, for another network, um, but don't ask me what it is because it's not important because it was really bad. But anyway, so we were doing this movie together, right? And what was the movie? It's not important. All right. Then. Okay, so, so we were doing this movie and we were up in Canada and they put us in this crappy hotel, right? <gasps> I know the movie! I nearly did that movie! Was it Bob the Butler? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> It wasn't the movie I thought it was. No. So, All right. okay. I thought it was Star Wars. Uh. <laughs> so, so any, imagine me in Star Wars. Yeah. But anyway. Um... Actually, I have done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not proud of it, but I like to be honest. <laughs> So, so I was, I was, you know, scouting the territory and looking for a better hotel. And I went in, into this one hotel, and the uh, hotel owner happened to be there. And he said, "Oh, Rosie Perez, what are you doing?" I said, oh, "I'm doing this movie with Brooke Shields." Oh, <gasps> I love Brooke Shields. I go, "Do you?" <laughs> so I lied to Brooke and I said, "This guy wants to meet you," because I told him, I said, "Brooke wants to stay at this hotel." And she, he was like, "No, you're, you're kidding." I said, "No." She said, "This was her favorite hotel in Canada." <laughs> And I said, I said, but you know, it's a money issue because the movie, he goes, no, we'll, we'll give you the hotels for free. So I went back to Brooke and I told her a different lie. And I told, <laughs> I told, I told Brooke that his children wanted to meet her because they were big fans. So Brooke, because she's so charitable, she's, very she's nice, so yeah, sweet. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> so hence I brought her over there. I pimped her out and we had two free sweets and it was great. That's fantastic. Yeah. So that's why I did Lipstick Jungle. Because I felt like I owed her one. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, anyway. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, my God. What's <laughs> wrong? No, it's just, I don't know, because I watch a show all the time, right? Do you? I do, I do. And, and um, like, like, you're so weird. <laughs> Is that good weird or bad weird? It's good weird. Oh, okay, good that's weird. good. good. Yeah, okay. Weird. weird as in creepy uh, scientist weird or weird as in, I wonder what he's thinking, weird. No, no I wonder what he's thinking, yeah, weird. I didn't but think weird so. like, no. weird like goofball, a little sexy, but not too much, you know, make funny faces, you know, that kind of weird. Make you laugh late at night. Yeah, you, know? you bet I would. <laughs> 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 I would. Yeah. So, Brooklyn, so you, eh? Yeah. Yes, I love Brooklyn. I'm still there. I, I, well, you know, it's now getting a little disgusting because there's, like, hipsters there and everything. And, and, you know, there's no... Well, you miss the hobos? <laughs> I, no, it's not that. It's just I know that what you mean. The yuppies come in, they ruin everything. The yuppie everything. comes yeah, in, and then every, they're like, There's uh, old lattes everywhere. Yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone's on their... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm one of those. Really? Yeah. <laughs> when I move into your neighborhood, the whole thing turns to... Ooh la la! Uh, yeah. Oh, I wasn't going to cuss tonight. <laughs> oh, ooh la la! Uh, <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> Yeah. So how did you get over here then? Did you drive from Brooklyn? Yes, all the way. Really? Yes, I did. Really? No, I took a plane. <laughs> I you... rode on a plane. I didn't take a plane, but I rode. Oh my God, I heard that you're terrified of flying. No, not anymore. I took flying lessons. I know, but that's so stupid. <laughs> no, if you think, it's like, I'm, I'm scared of guns. Shoot me and then I'll get over my fear. It doesn't make any sense. You're right. I feel such a fool. We're completely out of time. Uh, is there any? Uh, <laughs> anything you want to plug at all? <laughs> you know, movie, uh, TV show. Oh, oh, oh! You know what uh, I? You know, you know what I want to want to plug? Um, yeah, my, my help yourself. <laughs> I got. Don't just limit yourself to the arm. There's a whole bunch of other areas. <laughs> you know. 
I don't care if we're out of time. I don't care. You, you must understand. Right, okay. Okay, there's, I, I, you know, my kids' charity, uh, Urban Arts Partnership, we're yes, having a yes, big panel um, in Tribeca on September 23rd, and Soledad O'Brien is going to be the moderator. And so for what, what? any... What will you do? What will the panel be? What will the happen? panel will be discussing the importance of uh, arts in education. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I hope everybody. Yeah. Right. Right. It's lovely okay. to see you. Thank Thank you. Prize, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. My first guest tonight uh, speaks Spanish. <laughs> I think you got to figure. I would imagine. It's going to be very embarrassing for her if she doesn't. <laughs> I've kind of put her on the spot now, really. <laughs> She's a very talented actress, a good friend of the show, a beautiful, beautiful woman. Please welcome the wonder that is Rosie Perez, everybody. Rosie Perez. You look sensational. Thank you. It, it almost didn't happen. <laughs> what, what almost didn't happen? Because it's happening now, for sure. What, <laughs> what didn't happen? Um, uh, I, we had a, a, a wardrobe catastrophe. I forgot my strapless bra, and Georgie had to find a bra, and they're screaming down the hallway. Anyone got a 34D? I shouldn't have said that. Um, <laughs> 34, 34D. <clears throat> That's, I'll just write that down. <laughs> Wow, here it's 34 D. Uh, it Don't is. do that. Oh, why not? I'm just that. You brought it up. I mean, you come out here, you start talking about your lady business. I'm only, I'm only trying to be helpful and, and interested. I'm trying to be, you know, I'm trying to make the connection in case I want to kiss you. <laughs> what, is, what are your rules about men kissing you? What? Men, what rules do you have about men kissing? You? Uh... But like, for example. If you were in, let's just paint a scenario. You're in Houston, Texas, right? Uh -huh. You're working or something. Why would I be in Houston, Texas? Me? You're shooting a movie. Okay. You're shooting a movie in Houston, Texas. It's a Western. <laughs> right? <laughs> and you're, it's your day off. You're out buying turquoise. And, <laughs> and this guy called Ian rushes up and tries to kiss you. Uh -huh. What would be your rules before he would be allowed to kiss you? Well, number one, he has to be hot. <laughs> he doesn't have to be good looking, but he has to be hot. Now, what's the difference? Hot means like you want to, you know. <laughs> I think, <clears throat> is that a Spanish word? That <laughs> you speak Spanish, right? I speak Spanglish. Spanglish. Yeah. That's a mixture of Spanish and English. Very good. I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I want to speak pure Spanish. Me too. Do you? Do you? Do you not speak pure Spanish? I'm a New Yorican, so oh. I was taught. That's true. That's true. Um, but I was taught Spanglish. Spanglish. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to be doing that. So you probably won't understand this show in about a year. I'm going to be doing. <laughs> I might even do the Castilian thing with the te -te -te -te, you know that lisp thing that yeah. they do in Spain? Yeah, that's because their king was gay and he had a lisp. <laughs> True! That he had a lisp is without doubt. That yeah. he was gay. You're not just gay because you have a lisp. No, of course not. You have to have sex with people who are the same sex as you in order to be gay. I mean, if it makes you gay just having a lisp and wandering around shouting, I'm the king of Spain, then I'm gay. <laughs> How was your Christmas? Did you have a nice New Year? Did you, you and your friends? Me, uh, yeah. <laughs> what did you do? I can't talk about it on TV. <laughs> That's encouraging. <laughs> what else did you do then? <laughs> what, what stuff did you do that you can talk about? This uh, isn't TV anyway. Nobody gives. I got back. That was. A, it's a Spanish word. It's a completely different <laughs> meaning. Um, what, uh, 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 no, I can't, no. All right, then. Anyway, all I could say was it was at Eric's house, and when there's a party at Eric's house, well, you know, so. How long did it go on? 
Oh, I had to leave early. I couldn't hang. I just, it was too much for me. I can't party anymore. Do you still party? Do you go dance and sing and drink and all that stuff? I can't do that anymore. Yeah, I do do that. Do but, you really? Uh, yeah, but, but I, I, don't, I don't like to go out. Like, I don't like clubs where everybody's dressed up nice and posing and sniffing and smoking and snorting. That's not my thing. You know well, what I mean? Well, well, what is your thing then? I, guess <laughs> I always associate you with that. I don't, I don't. I don't. It's a joke. It's a joke. I'm saying, I'm saying the opposite of what's true for comic effect. Uh, uh, admittedly, <laughs> admittedly, there was no comic effect, but... What did you do then? Um, uh, well, I didn't do no sniffing. I've never done it. Now, by sniffing, do you mean, uh, you know, looking around for sex partners, or do you mean... <laughs> You're either oversexed or undersexed. Yeah, I think that's fair. Uh, <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, I can't decide myself. <laughs> um, no, I like to go to uh, clubs where, you know, it's unpretentious and you could go in jeans and you just sweat and dance your heart out and everyone's singing the songs and it's not like 20 seconds of a song. You know how DJs do that now? Yeah, they do so that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and so <laughs> that's that's the kind of thing. But I don't go out a lot. I don't I do not do that. I'd rather have dinner with friends. Yeah, I see, I don't, I don't like cards. going out. Play cards? Yes. What kind of cards did you play? Spades. I'm a badass at it too. <laughs> I don't know what the game is. What do you do? You, is it like hearts, but with a different suit? It's like hearts, but with spades. Yeah, yeah right, but okay. with spades, and I'm really good at it. Do you do it for money? No, you just do it for bragging rights, and I, I talk trash while I, while I play. And, and I'm really <laughs> Why are we talking about this? Because you won't talk about what you did, and I can't talk about your ladies' business, so where, are you? <laughs> where else have you left me to go? Do you enjoy detective movies? <laughs> Actually, do you enjoy detective movies? I I used to like them when they, when they were like Dirty Harry and stuff like that. Do you like that? Uh, no. But I <laughs> but I think Clint Eastwood is hot. Ah, now we're back to what's hot. Is he hot and attractive or just hot? Both. You know he's like 80 years old, right? <laughs> But, that's know, okay, right? Yeah, it's okay. He's still got it. So. All right. So, like, he's about the same age, I think, in the same kind of age bracket as Andy Rooney. <laughs> Isn't he? I don't... I'm not, I'm not trash talking Clint Eastwood. I love Clint Eastwood, but he's about the same age, isn't he? All right, okay, let's say Larry King. He's about the same age as Larry King. Is, La is Larry King hot? <laughs> he's a very nice man. Do you know Larry? Uh, yeah. 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 I, have you been on the show? No. Well, you're not going to be now. And I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? Don't take this as a diss, because it's uh -oh, not a diss. Uh-oh, uh-oh, yeah. But, um, um, I used to think that there was a laugh track added to your audience, but they're really laughing. <laughs> What, what, what? Um, my girlfriend Dana, she says that she loves you and she would be your personal slave and she'll do anything for you if you let her come on the show. Okay. <laughs> Can you book Dana? <laughs> All right, great. That's well, that got that tidied up then, rather nice. <laughs> Does she ever go to Eric's house for the parties? <laughs> Maybe yeah. I should come on. Where is Eric's house? Brooklyn? No, he lives in the city. He lives in Manhattan. And, uh, oh, Manhattan. Yes, he does. Yeah. And he... Is that is that Spanglish, Manhattan? <laughs> I'm not, honestly, I swear, I'm not. <laughs> Rosie, I swear, I am not doing that. I'm trying to learn how to pronounce it. If it's pronounced differently in Spanish, I want to know. No. Can I put my feet up on this? Because you don't have the thingy, and I'm sure. Oh, I, know, I got it. Yeah, no, I, was, I should have. I'm sorry, I was too busy looking at the upstairs department. Here, right. <laughs> There you go. There you go. It's right there. Thank That's the you. thing we keep in case Tom Cruise is ever on. <laughs> oh, can I say happy birthday to my cousin Sixto? Sure. Happy 53rd. Um, no, I'm sorry. You're not that old. 52nd. <laughs> happy 52nd birthday, Sixto. I love you. 
Sixto? Sixto. Is that, sp is that Spanish? Yes. For 60? No. For sexy? No. no. <laughs> He's gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, is, what does Sixto mean? It's just a name? It's just a name. Like Ralph? Yeah, yeah. But I used to, I used to, I used to make fun of him behind his back. I used to tell people they're like, "Oh, his name is Six Toe," and I said, "Yeah." And they go, "Why is his name Six Toe?" I never heard of that. I said, "Cause he used to have six toes, but they cut off the six one." <laughs> but that's not true. I used to make fun. <laughs> you know, you you could write for this show very, easy. <laughs> and you could get all your community service done. Rosie, it's always a delight to see you. I wish we had more time. Come, let's, this year, make a resolution that you'll be on the show more than okay. you have been in the last couple of years. Okay, great. All right. All right. <laughs> and I'll be on it less. Okay. <laughs> Rosie Perez, everybody, we'll be right back. Please welcome the adorable Rosie Perez, everybody. Rosie Perez. Are you all right? Do you have big shoes on or something? I have big shoes. You know why I put these shoes on? Because I didn't like the toenail polish that they put on my toes. I, that's why I wear these. <laughs> Did they just put it on without asking you? Were you just here and they went, mm -hmm. No, because they kept saying, oh, all the girls are wearing that color like I care. And, um, <laughs> but I felt pressured, so I said, okay, but. So you I was gonna like wear open toe shoes, but I wore these instead. Can we, can we, now you, can we, do you mind if we look at the toenails? <laughs> You can say no, but everyone will think you're a biatch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can say no. No, wait, wait, come yeah. on. I have, like, bunny rubble toes. Oh, right. Well, then, if you've got that, then we mustn't. No, 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 That's a very unusual no, 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 condition no. that I have okay, no. Okay, guys, darn it here. Oh. You, you don't have to. I don't want you to feel pressurized to do oh, this. Oh, shut you know? up. All right. There you go. Look, lovely feet you have. Dude, that's adorable. I think you're being very tough on your toes. I think they look lovely. Thank you. <laughs> They're very nice. Tell me about the planes that go on for 24 hours, but it's still on a Monday night. That's impossible. <laughs> we start on Sunday night. Oh. Oh, there's your answer. Yeah, so yeah. We, we do a meet and greet of all the actors, directors, producers, and writers, and, and then everyone introduces themselves, and then the actors and the directors and the producers go away, and the writers stay up all night, and then the actors, directors, and producers, no, <laughs> actors, directors, and producers come in early in the morning, and then we uh, study and try to learn the script from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., and then we do the show. <laughs> So, I'm sorry to make you go through this again. <laughs> on the Sunday night, you, everyone meets everybody else, and then the writers come up with an idea for a show. Yeah. And then they write it. Yeah. How many writers are we talking about? Well, there's six plays, so there's six writers. A person writes a whole play in one night? Yeah, well, it's short. It's like, like 10 to 15 minutes each play. Right, so how do you make that work in 24 hours then? Oh, you come back the following day, you come back the following and, and, day. Do, and do that. Yeah, oh. but we like have like really good writers and stuff. So. Yeah, see, that's where you lost me. Yeah. <laughs> right up until that point, I was going to say, it's just like this show. And then you said that, and I'm like, it's nothing like this show. How, I heard you were a little bit sick. I thought I was going to see you in New York, and then I never saw you. What, I, what was wrong? Um, I, got, I got in an accident, and so um, I technically broke my neck. And, and so I had to get an operation, but I'm more better because I go to Dr. McKeon's, and he just fixed me up. I see. <laughs> you broke your neck? Yeah, well, it's like technically, but not really, but like, yeah. And then it's... <laughs> Is it still stiff? Are you a little stiff there, like that? A little bit, but I can, I can move it like that. All yeah, right. See? Okay. Like that. That wasn't supposed to be funny. No. <laughs> but, uh... But they feel nervous. Cause what's wrong? Where are you going? You didn't... You forgot oh, my little stool, so I'll just put my oh, No, no, it's up. here. I'm sorry. I forgot. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Here it is. 
the Rosie Perez or Tom Cruise stool, whoever is the... Uh... <laughs> There you Thank go. You. I'm so I'm so sorry. I feel terrible. Are you more comfortable now? Yes, I Take am. Take your shoes off. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> so, I wanted to see you in New York too. Yeah, I wanted to see. I, I'm concerned about your accident that you broke your neck. That's frightening. Was it a car accident? No, it was a stunt gone bad. A stunt gone bad. Yeah, so I'm not going to do my stunts anymore. I, I didn't I didn't know you did them. Neither did I. Oh, that really? was like, <laughs> I think that like was the second time I did a stunt. What kind of a stunt was it? Can oh. you say for legal reasons? Sue them, sue them! <laughs> um, this guy, like, he's supposed to rough me up and like, like, and he, I think he thought we were like doing real life instead of acting and he roughed me up a little bit and like, so I have baby shake syndrome so my neck was going like this and then it, and the this, um, two discs slipped out and one bulged and thank goodness the one bulged because that I would have been you d died? No, like, um, I could have been paralyzed. Oh my God. Who is this son of a bitch? He's actually a really nice guy. Oh, I it bet he is. Well. <laughs> I bet he feels terrible, actually. I'm sure he did. Yeah, he did. He did. He yeah, did. was it an actor? Yeah. Yeah, getting roughed up by an actor, that must be awful. Yeah. <laughs> so how are things uh, otherwise? Uh, <laughs> Men? Any, uh, anyone on the horizon? Any uh, boys around? Anyone you're interested in? Any sort of, you know? <laughs> no? Yes? I was gonna bring my cousin Sixto to, to um, when you were gonna be at Carnegie Hall. Yeah, that's what I thought. You were gonna come see me at Carnegie Hall and I was looking forward to meeting your cousin Sixto. Sixto? Yeah, that's what I meant. No. See, that's what I said. It's I like S I X and then T O. Sixto. Yeah. Well, is, that's a lovely name. Yeah. He used to have six toes and they cut off one. <laughs> is that true? No, that's not true. No, it's actually, it's actually an old, old Spanish name. Sixto is an old Spanish name? Yeah. This thing is so comfortable. I'm going to wear it again. What, your leg? No! It looks comfortable to me. You want, uh, you want me to uh, stroke, stroke it? Here we are again. <laughs> Is the undersex or the oversex? Well, what, what do you mean undersexed or oversexed? It's just sexed. You <laughs> Sexto. Sexto. Yeah, sexto. Sexto. What's comfortable? The, the outfit you're wearing? Yeah, the outfit. It like looks I, very nice. Oh, yeah. thank you very much. It's, thank it's, you. It's, it's lovely. It looks. Do you wear that around uh, the house with little slippers? No. It's nice. It looks. It's got a lovely kind of casual yet elegant feel about it, which I think is perfect for a talk show appearance. Yes, it is. And I, I, I like getting um, dressed nice because, well, like when I was when I was recuperating from the accident, it, I looked like a bum bitch. It was not a good look. Um, yeah. You don't feel like doing your hair, you know, and, and you know. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, yeah no. you do you don't even bother with the smell check and you just <laughs> Weren't there cute doctors or anything? Then you meet a cute doctor, there's a lot of nice doctors in the old uh, doctor place. Hospital. Yeah. <laughs> there's there is this one gorgeous doctor, um I shouldn't have said that but well, well, and then, well, um, <laughs> But there is there is this He won't know or she won't know. He he, he. he. Um, uh, anyway, so, so what happened was that Dr. McKeon said, oh, we have to do two operations at once, one on your neck and one on your pelvic, because we have to take bone marrow out of your pelvic, right? So he goes, so my colleagues, they're going to come in and they're going to do your pelvis. And I said, oh, okay. And in walks three doctors, and two of them were fine. They were fine. Uh-oh. Right? Right. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. And, um, and so, anyway, so they did my, you know, and so... Whoa, and then, whoa, 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 they did your whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not your pelvic, what's that? <laughs> no, it was no. Anyway, so then, um... So they did what? They... Oh, oh, yeah, right, yes. I'm sorry. Okay, so, but anyway, I was on morphine, so it's not my fault, mm. right? Which is... <laughs> the amount of times I've said that. <laughs> You did morphine? Yeah. Did wow. them all. I did them all. What do you think I ended up here? Oh. <laughs> 
Okay, okay. So I was on morphine, which is lovely, which is why they should keep it illegal. Mm -hmm. And um, and so then um, the 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 nice looking doctor came in and I didn't know I said this, right? So it's not my fault, but my cousin Sixto and George, they both said I said it, so I was like, okay. Because at first I didn't believe Sixto because he tends to lie, mm. right? Or embellish, right? But George doesn't lie. He embellishes, but he doesn't lie. So right. anyway, so, um... <laughs> Okay, so anyway, so what happened, right? Um, so the gorgeous doctor comes in, right? And and I'm in a fog, and I just looked at him, and he was, this part I do remember, I said, oh my God, did you see me naked? And he said, yeah. <laughs> and I said, well, did you see my vagina? And he said, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then I, I don't wanna say the rest, because it just gets so ridiculous. What do you mean it gets ridiculous? <laughs> What's after vagina? <laughs> so, so let's, we get as far as vagina, but no further? Are you okay, baby? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, that, well, that's, uh, uh, did you, uh, are you still in touch with him then? I mean. No. Why not? Go out for dinner with him. He's seen your vagina. <laughs> No, no. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm no. very happy. So. Are you? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Lovely. We're done now, actually. <laughs> yeah. uh, mouth organ or awkward pause? What? Hmm? <laughs> mouth organ or awkward pause? To finish up with. Mouth organ. Yeah, all right, mouth organ is. Um, was, was the medical uh, very expensive? Yes. All right, yeah. Fresh one for you? I don't understand. <laughs> We're going to play ourselves out instead of having uh, the band do it. <laughs> we have to suck and blow. Yeah, you can you can make your choice. You can suck or blow or do both. You started it. I didn't even say it. You were the one that said, do I fuck or blow? And I was like... <laughs> well, you made it like, you know, like... It's I never made it like anything. Do you do the big holes or the small holes? Go, go for... No, go for the big holes around here. The, no, no, the other side. This one, yeah. Come okay. on. You ready? I never did this. Oh, it's going to be exciting. Okay. All right. <laughs> we'll play ourselves out. We'll do um, Yankee Doodle Dandy. Okay. Okay, all right then. Not Yankee. What do you want to do? I'll do Yankee Doodle. We'll do uh, La Bamba. <laughs> I look forward to your letters. Uh, <laughs> you ready, baby? All right. A one, a two, a one, two, three. First guest tonight, a very talented actress, a good friend of the show, an adorable woman, and very attractive, and I don't mean that in a sexually predatory way. <laughs> I'm lying. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm not. Anyway, please welcome Rosie Perez, everybody. Rosie Perez. Sensational! You're just the right guest to have on the show when we're talking about sexual harassment. Uh, yeah, are you okay? Because the last time you were here, your neck was sore. You got hurt when you were um, you were filming something. You all right? Yes, yes, I'm healing quite nicely. I would say so. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I need my Tom Cruise. Oh, okay, hold on. The little Tom Cruise still that we have. Yeah, hold on here. It is. Thank all right, you. Yeah. We keep that in case Tom Cruise is ever on the show. <laughs> You feel more comfortable now? Yes, thank you. There you are. That's good. What happened to your neck again? It was it was sore, wasn't it? it? Someone hugged you too tightly? No, they broke my neck. 
They did. Yeah, by accident. Technically. No. Yes, by accident. It was on a shoot, and, and they, uh, I had baby shake syndrome, and I uh, went to Dr. McKeon's. I had surgery. I had morphine. Love it. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and uh, Vicodin, too. Had to stop that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, gives you a warm, cozy feeling inside. Do that again. Oh, my goodness, no. <laughs> you slow it down a little bit. <laughs> I was sexually harassed. Were right there when I said do that again? Oh, I guess that was sexual harassment. Kind of a little bit. You were sexually harassed elsewhere? Um, In the workplace? Oh, I, yeah, I used to get sexually harassed all the time, and I used to always wonder, like, why me, you know? And, um, I... <laughs> Sorry, I, that was inappropriate. Yeah. <laughs> I would t can I say it? But it's a little X-rated. Well, I think it'll be all right. Okay. So, like, all right, I was working for this, um, this record company when I was going to college here in Los Angeles, right? Yeah. And I won't say its name, but the record company used to be on La Brea, right? And so... Was it La Brea? No. And so, okay. and so uh, we were doing inventory late, late at night, and I lived in this terrible neighborhood. And I didn't know it was a terrible neighborhood because it looks really nice. And when you come from New York and you see palm trees, you go, oh. Oh, it's all right. right. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah. yeah. And like when I first got to the neighborhood, this guy was like, what's up, cuz? And I go, are we related? Yeah. And um, I didn't know anything about the Bloods and the Crips and whatever. Okay, but I digress. So anyway, so, um, so the, uh, the, the, the guy, the assistant manager, you know, he was like, do you want me to drive you home? It's late at night, it's one, two in the morning, and I said, sure, yeah, the neighborhood's dangerous. He drives me home, and I fell for the okie doke. He says, can I come in and use your bathroom? Oh. And I said, yeah, I know. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> cause you know, in New York, the sexual harassment is nice. It's not like that, you know? <laughs> no, no, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? I feel we're not helping forward. <laughs> You know, anyway. Yeah, okay, okay. No, because like when they go like, I, mommy, you look good. That's a compliment. But anyway, so, um. Is it? Yeah. Hey, mama, you look good. Not like that. that little, that's like pervy. That's all I do. I, well, why do you say that, hey, mama, you look good? You have to be... have like a touch of sweetness in it. You're like, hum, hum, like that. All right, hold on again. Hey, mama, you look good. Now I just. Weird. <laughs> Okay, so, anyway, All right, okay. so so he so he I comes like, in to use the bathroom. He goes in the bathroom, right, and I go into the kitchen, right, and so I'm talking to him, and I'm like, oh, that was you know a great night, and we got a lot done, and and I walk out of the kitchen, I went, oh my god, and he was laying, I swear to God, this is true, butt naked, stroking his tootsie fruitsie. I swear, I swear. <laughs> I got a raise the next day. Yeah, I bet you yeah. did. So did you, how did you get rid of him? How did you get, get rid of him? Did you point I, and laugh? I, I, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it was more like, oh my God, he was extremely well endowed for a short man, right? And um. Now, you see, now that's maybe a myth. Probably he's a regular size, but he was a short man, so it looked bigger because of the comparison. <laughs> like the White Castle hamburger thing. <laughs> The White Castle hamburger. Yeah, everybody knows that. You get the White Castle hamburger, you hold it next to yourself when you're naked and go, who's the whopper now, bitch? <laughs> <Everybody's saying that. laughs> anyway, so, uh, well, that's terrible. No, I, I don't want to make light of this subject. No. I, I, it's a terrible, terrible It was. Thing. It was yeah. horrible. Yeah. Yeah. I started screaming, and, I, and, and, and then the neighbors came, and he was humiliated, and so was I, and he got thrown out. And the next day at work, I looked at him, and he goes, you want to raise? I said, absolutely. Yeah. That was it. That's good. Was that, you worked in a record company then? Oh, I used to have a lot of jobs. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, what other I, jobs did you have? Oh, I worked for this crooked law firm. It was great. There's no such thing as a crooked law firm. <laughs> They're either a law firm or they're not, but crooked is kind of an oxymoron. <laughs> Were they crooked? Did the guy go to jail? He was very smart. But anyway, um... What was his name? I'm not gonna tell. <laughs> no. All right. No. Uh, I worked at Sizzler. What did you do at Sizzler? At Sizzler, I was a waitress. I was really rude to the customers and they loved it. They used to like, they used to like, I'm serious, they used to go, what section are you in, Rosie? I go, Miss Perez, I'm over there. And they would give me a tip before I served them food. 
Was this a special sizzler? <laughs> It was. Really? Yeah. Well, you know, what kind of food does Sizzler serve? Bad food. Oh. <laughs> Do they advertise on CBS? <laughs> they... Uh oh. Don't know. <laughs> no, I'm sure it's a fine product. Yeah. No, no, it's a, delicious. Yeah. Food. A fast food outlet. You could say that. that yes. Yes. Like, yeah. yeah. But I got fired from there because the manager wanted to go out with me, and so. So that's I would sexual imagine that, that probably happened to you quite a lot then, because you're a very attractive young woman. Hey, yeah. Mama seat. You know, I. Uh, <laughs> Do you, do you think it hurt you in the workplace, being so attractive? Do you think of yourself as being attractive, or are you insecure? I'm not insecure, but I think, you know, I think I'm cute. You, you know. are. But uh, I wouldn't say, like, I'm like, oh, you know, like that. Do that again. <laughs> You, you don't think of it, well, but you are. I mean, oh, it, thank you. It, it's, well, it's the truth, and and uh, but I wonder why you you think you're cute, but you're not. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, no, no, no. I guess it's difficult. I think if I was taller, I always wanted to be taller. Why? <laughs> There's nothing to see up here. <laughs> I'm quite tall, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was going to see you when I was in New York. I didn't see you. What was going on? You were going to come and see the show, and then you didn't come when I was at Carnegie Hall. What happened? I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I forgot. I wanted to go, and I wanted to take my cousin Sixto. Yeah, Sixto. You were going to bring yeah. Sixto, your I was going to bring yeah. Sixto, and something happened with him, and I don't know, whatever, you know. Did he go to jail again? No. He, no, he's not the one that went to jail. He's never been to jail. He's never been to jail. I okay, said. okay, all right. I just went like that. No, no, no. Right. That was my other cousin. Which one was that? I don't want to say, because then he'll get mad at me. All right. So now just all of your cousins except six who are going to get mad at you now. Cause... <laughs> We have to take a break for okay. commercials. Uh, there's a big Sizzler campaign going on in the show no, tonight. Oh, no. So uh, we'll, we'll take a break. We'll be right back with Rosie Perez, everybody. <laughs> Everybody, I'm talking to Rosie Perez. Uh, you can do what you like. I, uh... <laughs> now, when you worked in the record company, what kind of music did you like when you were working there? I liked all kind of music. Do you still like all kind of music, or have you narrowed it down to one type of music and no other music? No, I still like uh, all kind of music. I like, except for country and western. I like country, but I don't like country and western. I don't like What's the, the twang. I don't like the twang. They don't twang. like the twang? No. The twang's the whole part of it. The honka dong tw twang twang. That's the whole thing. I just like a slight twang. I don't like like the full Monty. <laughs> Did you like that movie, The Full Monty? Yes. That was a funny movie, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was very cool. Yeah. It's about British guys getting naked. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like that would ever happen. <laughs> So, what kind of music do you like now? Can you dance now after your injury? Can you go dancing? Not yet. Right. Not yet. Not yet. Um, I tried. I was going to this uh, club. You know Danny Kravitz? Danny Kravitz? Danny Kravitz. He's a DJ. You know, no, he no, does I... 718 sessions in New York. You don't know him? Oh, he's fabulous. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's really good. Oh, Look yeah. Me. What the hell? <laughs> I know Danny Gravitz who does the groovy club in New York. I'm lucky if I know where the show is. <laughs> I don't know anything about the young folks and their dancing. Well, that's the thing. It's like, it's like old and young go there and you don't have to dress up and you don't have to be pretentious. And he just plays like... So it's like Sizzlers with music. <laughs> And what does he play then? What does he play? He plays like classic house. Um, he plays disco, which I love. You know, you like Port disco? I'm Puerto Rican, you know. Okay, it. yeah. Uh -huh. All right. All right. And um, and uh, and uh, so one day I was there and I wasn't fully recovered and this guy just grabbed me from. He knew me from way back when I used to be, you know, a club head, and he just started spinning me around and it hurt so much and I was like, oh. oh did he spin yeah. you right round, baby, right round? Like <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah that's, uh, I used to like all of that. 
You know, not disco. I didn't care for disco. I don't know why. I think it was the whole punk rock thing. Oh, I loved punk rock. Oh, hello. <laughs> yes, I loved it. Really? I was yes. in punk rock bands, you know. They were bad, just like a punk rock band should be. Yeah, yeah, I loved it. Did you used to go down to CBGB's in I the sure club did. I saw the Ramones there. At CBGB's? At CBGB's. Shut up! That's like, <laughs> that's like the epicenter. That's like the big. that's like... Ah! You know it. Yeah, did you see the talking heads down there as well? Um, no, I didn't, but I saw Blondie. I saw Really? Blondie in the early days? Oh, in the yeah. early days uh, and everything. Yeah. And she was much more like uh, raw back then mm. and everything. And, but she was still awesome and it was crazy. But I used to get scared to death, so I stopped going there because like everyone used to bump into each other and I used to think they were trying to like, you know, be volatile and so I always used to like push them back like hey Ay caramba oh, No that's you know, alright Oh, oh yeah, I, that's right oh, yeah. no, I, This is the one where you can cast. Yeah. Like, yeah So uh, I liked it when you did that hey like that as well that's good I've never seen this side of you before this is awesome Oh okay the, Yeah no it's great the hey <laughs> No I like that very much I used to be a doorman in a club down there did you ever go to uh, save the robots Yes I was the doorman at save the robots no way. Yes way! Why wouldn't I remember you then? Well, I don't know. Perhaps you were under the same kind of conditions as I was under when I... Uh... <laughs> very early on, I moved on very quickly. And when I say moved on, I mean I was fired. Uh... Oh. <laughs> Uh, but I, I was at that place, it was at Avenue, it was Avenue C in 4, yeah, right? And, yeah, that's when it was called Alphabet City. Alphabet City, yeah, yeah. it's not called that anymore. No, not really, not really, no. Because I went to that neighborhood, I, that was my old neighborhood, and I went there recently, and it's kind of like, people are walking around not being killed. It's amazing. I know. The hipsters just ruined it all. Yeah, but it wasn't just hipsters, there are people there with children. Yeah. And I'm like, take your children out of here. They're like, no, no, it's fine now. And they're yeah. walking around, and there are flowers growing. Nobody, I was there for about three hours. Nobody stabbed me once. Yeah, yeah. One night we were coming back from this place called Choices. Do you remember Choices? And no. out there, oh, it was fabulous. It wouldn't start until one o'clock in the morning, and there was this DJ called Frankie Knuckles. He had the whistle song. <laughs> anyway, so uh -huh. then, um, oh, it was a great song. It was a great song. And so, um, so we were there, and. Um, and we were so afraid to, uh, we, we, we spent all our money and everything and, and we couldn't get the train back to uh, Brooklyn. So we decided to walk over the bridge, right? Because it was Did 8 o'clock in the morning. Did you see you were going to walk from Alphabet City all the way down to the bridge and then over the bridge? Yeah, because it was 8 o'clock in the morning. I wish I'd met you then. And <laughs> so scared to, to be in the Low East Side. So me and my uh, my sister, we were like, uh, what are we going to do? She said, let's just be like lesbians and then the men won't attack us. That's how naive we were. This... <laughs> Why tonight? <laughs> Why on the sexual harassment show? <laughs> so you and your sister are uh, pretending to be lesbians? Yeah. On the Brooklyn Bridge? No, on the Lower East Side. We, we stopped when we hit the bridge. Oh, well, yeah, 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 because you got to stop with the pretend lesbianism once you get to Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah. Right, so how did this manifest itself then? You were just kind of like... <laughs> just kind of hanging on to each other a little bit. Yeah, yeah you know, and... Stroke, stroking each other? Just the back. Just the back. Yeah, just the back. <laughs> The thing is, I am aware of how creepy I am, and there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> I'm like, eh, and then what? And then what? And then what? And you're like, oh man, get away. And I'm like, I know I shouldn't be, but. Eh, eh. It's awful. I do apologize. Well, I'm just thinking about it, though. Okay. Yeah. No, it, I like that time in New York City, though. It was I did like, too. I started at Save the Road, it was like 1984, I think, when we was at 84, 85. It was crazy then. It was crazy, but it was a lot of fun. It, it was, was a lot, lot of fun, freedom. but it was very dangerous as well. I suppose it's better now, really. Yeah, it was yeah. dangerous, but if, if, if you weren't an idiot, you know. You yeah, that's true. Yeah. You could avoid a lot of the trouble. Yeah. Because most of the people get into trouble, they come down and go, wow, look how amazing this place is. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I used to know this girl who worked to, as a waitress and she was she wanted to be a singer and she used to walk home at night and every night when she was walking home so that she wouldn't get attacked or anything she used to sing really loud so that everybody thought she was crazy. Oh yeah, that that's that, a good technique. Yeah, that's a good technique. She was like la 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 la. <laughs> it's now the technique I use for this show. Right. <laughs>
It's true. I miss New York, though, when I talk to you. I feel like we were probably uh, run about the same time doing kind of the same thing and indeed the same drugs. I didn't do... I, I didn't do heavy drugs. Oh, I didn't do, I didn't do heavy drugs. A gram at a time is enough for me. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah I... Nothing heavier than a gram. Oh. That's just a little... <laughs> No, it was a bad time. No, I'm glad it's over. Drugs are bad. CBS cares. I, uh, <laughs> it was bad, though. I mean, I, I get frightened now because I have kids now, and I think, oh, my God, the idea of... Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, now there's more drugs in New York. You know, it's, it's kind of like a throwback to the uh, 70s. It's really weird because it's like now it's um, prescription drugs. Like if you go yeah. to a club, they sell like a Percocet for $10, $15, like that. Uh, and then, you know, E. I, I, oh, E is the worst. I can't stand people who are on E. This yeah, is so irritating. Yeah. They're like, oh, I love you. Can I hump on you? It's like, no. <laughs> that's the it's worst. funny because that's exactly what I was going to ask you now. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rosie, Rosie, we're out of time again. Do you believe that? Oh. I know. Oh. Well, uh, mouth organ, awkward pause, anything like that? No, I want to do the harmonica because I like to blow in. I mean, no, I mean, no, 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 no. I meant, you know, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome when you said that. Uh, I got your fresh one right there. It's uh, it's not been touched by human hands, uh, right. except for the ones that made it, obviously. All right. All right. You ready? Wait. Take it out then. Okay. All right. Unwrap it. That sounds very well. You know. Yeah, that's right. Which side? Uh, well, you choose what side, and then you know, just well, usually that's the side you would go for. But I don't care where you go. I just want to watch you try. Yeah, <laughs> 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 my boyfriend. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, okay. honey. <laughs> oh, you set my ring off. <laughs> ah! All right. Are you ready? Wait, I forgot. To, uh, Blow and then suck. <laughs> and that changes the tune. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you sucked first before you blew. <laughs> Something disco then? Okay. <laughs> Rosie Perez, <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Rosie Perez, everyone. You want the little, uh, you want the, the little Tom thing? Cruise. Yeah, hold on. The little Tom Cruise stool. Hold on. It's uh, right here at the back. Hold on. There you go. We keep this in case Tom Cruise is ever on the show. Thank uh, you. Man, there's a bunch of crap in here I haven't seen in ages. Yeah, look how long this, look at that. This must go back to the Three Stooges. <laughs> I like that. Come you on, got a that. bunny under your desk. What? Yeah, yeah, a couple. <laughs> Hugh Hefner sent them over. I think it's some kind of bribe. <laughs> yeah. You look great. Thank you. you. No, I mean really great. Have you been some kind of working out or something? I haven't worked out in two and a half years. Well, it's working for you. <laughs> no. Really? No, I, if, if I really worked out, I'd be like... <sighs> You know, like that. Do that again. <laughs> no, do it again. It was great. Do it again. I, I, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's great. Does that happen when you work out? If that happened when I worked out, I'd work out all the time. All that happens is I go, oh, like that. Well, you must be on some kind of mad diet or something. You look great. No, I eat like a pig. I eat like a pig. I, I have an addiction to chocolate and, and pies and cakes and cookies and, and rice and beans. All right, all right. I get it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do, you enjoy, do you enjoy the chocolate dollars? 
It's just a chocolate dollar. That's all it is. There's no double meaning there. Oh. <laughs> we got some, actually. I think we got some chocolate. Throw one over there, Michael, won't you? Oh, good arm. Yeah, yeah. There's one there. You want it? Oh. Yeah, chocolate dollar right there. Oh. Yeah, they're delicious. Oh, okay. I know what these are. No, they're all right. You know, if they made it dark chocolate, I would, I would be into them. But like milk chocolate, you know, I'm not really into milk chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that some kind of code? No. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? No. No. Hey. Um. No, I like dark chocolate. I do. I, uh, I do. I like the. Uh, I like the. You ever been to Belgium? Yes. Right. No, they make chocolate there. And French fries. Bel yeah. They, that's where French fries come from, Belgium. But they were stolen by the French during the War of... <laughs> when were you over there? In Belgium? Yeah. Oh, um, that's when I was a choreographer. I, I was a choreographer. Did you know I was a choreographer? I did not know you were a choreographer. I was a choreographer. Right, that's amazing. And, um, yes, and... Uh, and did you work uh, uh, out of a hospital or just a private practice? <laughs> no. Like I did, like, in Living Color, music videos. You did in Living Color? Yeah. And and um, and then, um, but what happened was is that I was flown over to, to uh, what's that place? Europe. Oh, Europe. Now, yeah, yeah, Europe, yeah, Europe, yeah. And, um, yeah, yeah. And, uh... <laughs> And, and so anyway, what happened was is that I go over there and, 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 and it was at the it, Cannes... Uh, uh, the Cannes Film Festival? No, the, the music festival. In the Cannes? Medium. It, no, in Nice. In Nice, yes. No, no Cannes. Go. Cannes. It was Cannes. <laughs> we need this. <laughs> nice or Cannes? <laughs> the Susquehanna Hat Company. Uh, all right, it so was cans, and but anyway, uh, we had to stop over in Belgium because I was doing this group, um, 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 Technotronic. Remember, pump up the, the jam, jam, pump, pump it, it up, up pump it up, yeah. yeah. But you did the video? No, I didn't do the music video. They didn't like the music video. So what happened was they got new dancers. And so when we went to the International Medium Music Festival, I had to choreograph them there. And then we went over and did Saturday Night Live and I choreographed them there. But then the dancers messed up and it wasn't really a nice show. So I had to jump on stage and go like that. And I saved it. Well, here's the thing. Do you still go like that from time to time? Only for my guy. I, I think that's that's fair. How was your neck, by the way? You had that neck injury, remember? When you yeah, were in, yeah. Is it okay now? It's getting better, yeah. yeah. That's Can you why go like that? Yeah! Oh. <laughs> um, but, um, but, you know... Uh, <laughs> what, what, what? But you can? Oh, you can. Is it something to do with Belgium? Dark chocolate. Is no. it dark chocolate? <laughs> Okay. Just... <laughs> All right. So what? Uh, what? So, uh, well, the movie looks nice. Thank you. Well, there you go. That's good. Yeah. Where did you make it? We made it in Pittsburgh, uh, Pennsylvania. I know where Pittsburgh is. Yeah. 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 yeah I've been there. Yeah. Pittsburgh I, was a surprise to me because I thought the name of the town makes it sound like it's not going to be a very nice town. Right. But it's a nice town. It's a nice town. Yeah. It's a nice town. And um, and the people are crazy there, but I love them. Oh, and they eat really bad. Like they have these um they have these sandwiches. No, they do. Where you can either get a piece of fried steak or fried fish or fried chicken, right? And then they put French fries on top, and then they put coleslaw on top, and then they put cheese on top. And it's on a bread. It's like a heart attack between two pieces of bread. Sounds like a sandwich to me. Like a good sandwich. What do you do? You like the fried chicken and the and the steak and the fish all together in one sandwich? That's a lot of food. No, 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 no. But I don't. I no. All right. So, ever been to Australia? No, it's too far. Not for Australians. Because they're there. Right, okay. No, but I don't like to travel far. No, for real. Well, like, well you, we wanted you to come to Scotland, but we went that to That I would have done. Right. I would have went to Scotland. Well, and then you, you didn't come. Why didn't you come? Because my dog got sick. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah. That's funny. Oh, yeah. There's three things that this audience love. They love a, a chocolate dollar joke. They love a horse poop joke. And any time you mention a sick dog, they poo their pants. They right. do. <laughs> They love it. Can a dog is your dog? Um, um, it's a pit bull mix. It's mixed with the Australian Shepherd. Oh! Oh! Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
But um, I'm self-conscious because my girlfriend Ileana told me not to raise my arms. Why? She said a woman of a certain age shouldn't raise her arms in, on television. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I never heard this. Well, look, uh, listen, let me block you for a minute and, and then <laughs> raise your arms and I'll tell you if anything goes on. Ooh, fine to me. I shaped. Did I shape? Yeah, I shaped. <laughs> I don't know what Eliana's talking about. <laughs> uh, have, I, have I met Eliana? No, you haven't. You would love her. Yeah? Yeah, she's Cuban, but that's okay. <laughs> I love Cuban people. Me too. Yeah. Do you but, ever smoke the Cuban cigars? No. Why not? Why would I smoke a cigar? That's disgusting. It's not necessarily disgusting. I mean, I think it is, but many people don't. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. You, know, you don't smoke? <laughs> you do? Nobody not smoke. cigars. No, I don't smoke cigars. Oh, what, pot? What? You smoke pot. <laughs> you know, wacky back. You know, sticky icky. The old Willie Nelson. You know what I'm talking about, pot! <laughs> Sensibilia, you know what I'm talking about? You know, like, hey, pa. No, you don't smoke the pot much. Don't, don't do drugs. What the hell? My family watches your show. Oh. Oh, that's all right. Look. <laughs> They probably know. <laughs> also, I know that you don't. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Who's a big campaign against the smoking marijuana is kicking off? <laughs> Listen, we're out of time. Um, oh, okay. So, uh, what do you fancy? Awkward pause, mouth organ, or do you want to go for the big cash prize? Well, we always blow, I mean, you know, do the thingy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I say, uh, can I say, I, uh, I'm sorry to my cousin Sixto because I was supposed you to. You always say something to your cousin Sixto when you're out here. I know, but because I was supposed to watch the Miguel Cotto and, and Mayweather fight. Miguel Cotto, you did a great job even though you lost. But I, I lied to Sixto. No, I lied to him and said I was going to go to his house, but I didn't go to his house because I was going to have a big party at my house and I wanted him to come to my house, but he didn't want to because he's mad at me, so I wanted to say I'm sorry. <laughs> Any camera you fancy? <laughs> Can I, can I talk to Sixto a minute? Yes, please. Sixto. <laughs> Let it go, man. Let it go. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. I don't know if it'll work. You okay. know what Sixto's like? I know. But I don't, because I don't know who we're talking about. But... <laughs> Anyway, we're out of time. What do you want? A mouth, organ, awkward pause, or the big cash prize? Um, um, uh, everyone's telling me to do the cash, money, dollars. <laughs> the time is in shadow state. It's time for the big cash prize. Big cash prize. $10,000. In a bag. No one sign on it. Out of quarters. Just put that up. Put it back till you win. All right. Two ways to win. Actually, maybe three ways to win. You can either answer a question. Okay. You can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine in your a box. box? In my, yeah, yeah, in my box. Okay. I, I like. I imagine a box. I imagine a box <laughs> in my head, but I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. And then you try and guess. And if you're right, he'll tell us. And if you're wrong, something terrible will happen. Or you can uh, make a phone call. Okay. Yes, you can phone a friend. Okay. <laughs> I'm phoning a friend. You're phoning a friend. All right. Who are you phoning? Sixto. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, what's his number? 718 <laughs> 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 Hello? 
<laughs> Can I speak to Sixto, please? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is, actually. I see. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. You should probably do it a different way. He, he doesn't want to talk to you. He's still mad. A little bit. Okay. He said some words. That begin with a <laughs> and then with a <laughs> Sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so a question or box? What's it gonna be? A, a, a question. Question it is. All right, here we go. Iceland is in the North Atlantic, its capital city is Reykjavik. What, uh, no, I've said that one. <laughs> Within 25 feet, how tall were the largest dinosaurs? Within 25 feet, how tall were the largest dinosaurs? Ah. <laughs> or, or, or. <laughs> is that a dinosaur? Fly? Yeah, yeah, that was a dinosaur. It was a very rare dinosaur. It was a rare interior designing dinosaur. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Love her. Oh, I have to tell you. Yeah, yeah, oh, I yeah, thought yeah, you were yeah. going to give me like multiple choice. Within 25 feet. Come on. Okay, I mean, um, I mean, feet. Uh, they were 155 feet. That's Four. close. Close. <laughs> 80, 89 feet. 89 feet. Is it correct? Hey! Rosie Perez, everybody. Hey, Rosie. Hi. Oh, you look great. Thank you. No, I mean, really good. <laughs> like, do you like coconuts? It's a quest. I'm just wondering. <laughs> what? Already. I just, I'm asking you if you like coconuts. I've, I'm thinking of this new fashion item I'm trying to put together. Uh, where's my thing? Oh, sorry. Yeah, hold on. Uh, hang on. Where is it? Here it is. Ah, oh, God. <sighs> there you go. <laughs> there you are. Why do we have that? No, wait, don't, don't applaud the thing. You applaud the thing. I didn't say where the thing was from, did I? We keep that in case Tom Cruise is ever on the show. That's what I said. <laughs> I say that every time. You look good. Thank you. You, this looks good. Oh, you, you haven't been to the new studio. It's not that new anymore. We've been here for a year. Yeah, but I haven't. Yeah, where have you been? I've been working, I've been doing stuff. What do you mean? What, what kind of stuff? Like acting? Yes. Oh, well, that's good. That's good news. Then it's not you haven't been working doing anything else, like shipbuilding no, or anything. No, no, I gave that up. I gave that up. No. So what have you been acting at then? Um, movies? Any movies coming out? Yeah, I did two movies. One is called God's Behaving Badly. Um, a little typecast. I played the goddess of spring, Persephone. <laughs> and, Oh, the, the goddess of spring can't be Puerto Rican? What the hell's wrong with you, Pete? Yeah. You guys are racist. Yeah. Speaking of racist, what about Paula Dean? I'm so upset because I love her. Anyway, um... Now, what, let, well, let's talk through the Paula Dean thing. What exactly happened? Because I don't know anything about it. She said the N-word, right? Is that yeah. right? Like, yeah. You can't say that. You can't say that. Right. I think it was her defense of it. Just She kept digging a deeper and deeper hole. And I was like, please just shut up because I love your show. Just cook. Yeah, yeah, you know? and it's just, and she just kept making it worse. And I always think that, though. When, I mean, Paula's been here. She never said that word to me. But then again, why would she? You know, uh, <laughs> but I, I, 
I never, you know, I never, th you know, when people do one thing really well, yeah. and then they always think they should do other things too. Yeah. Like, like, you know, rock stars that want to be actors. I'm like, just sing. Right. You know, uh, <laughs> do you ever want to be a rock star? No. Good, you see, good. <laughs> but I could sing a little bit. Smack me in the knee again like that. Ew, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, you did it the first time, no problem. Just do it again. Just pull no, my hair a little bit as well. No. Have you been good? How's your cousin Sixto? You always talk about Sixto when oh you're here. Oh my God, Sixto is great. Would you believe he's getting offers to do his own reality show? Sixto is? Six, exactly. That was my reaction. Yeah. I, <laughs> but I've never met Sixto. You, you talk about him. He's some kind of mythical creature. He's like, you know, Bigfoot or something. But I've never seen him. <laughs> he's my cousin, as you know. And he's irritating, but I love him. Mm -hmm. And... And, um, but yeah, and like, uh, he's, I'm like, what in the world would you do on a reality show? And he's like, people think I'm handsome. I go, no, they don't. Well, I, do, I don't think that you even have to be handsome to do a reality show. You can just be on TV. It's like, Eddie, look at me. I'm on TV right now. <laughs> you can just be on TV. It's not like it was. Like, you had to have a college degree and stuff. You just, like, show up. I got to the airport from Scotland. They're like, you want to be on TV? I was like, okay. Uh, well, he actually um, uh, used to act in a lot. He was in the Devil's Own. Yeah. Oh, that's the other country. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. It was the other ones, not your people. The other. Anyway, go ahead. No, no, no. You tell me. <laughs> what other ones? The Devil's Own. Is that an it, English movie? No, it's about the Irish. Oh, that's fine. They're kind of my people too. So. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. No, my my uh, family are Scottish and Irish. Oh, okay. Or going all the way back. Do you have any Irish in your family? Yes. Yeah, I bet you do, actually, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. I have, um... Uh, I don't know. We're Puerto Rican, you know. There's, like, a lot of people stop by, you know? What is, it, what is it they say, not Puerto Rican, just Sorta Rican? Like that? Sorta Rican. Sorta, no, Sorta. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm a Puerto Rican who's a New Yorican. New Yorican? No. Were you at the Puerto Rican uh, parade day thing? No, I wasn't because, oh my goodness. Oh, what? Uh, uh, <laughs> this is so exciting. I got asked to be the Grand Marshal for the International Boxing Hall of Fame parade. I didn't know you boxed. I don't box. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm a... I'm a I'm a fan of boxing. Right, me too. And, and um, that's the only reason why I got on Twitter, actually. I know my manager doesn't want me to say it, but oh well. And, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, because I saw like on one of the boxing uh, networks, they were, you know, showing the tweets and I wanted to say something. And, and uh, my man was like, just say it, get on Twitter. I'm like, oh, genius. And I just fell in love. I, I swear I love it because like I, all my boxing friends now, I have a lot of boxing friends and it's wonderful. And so I tweet. Do you go and watch fights live? I go watch fights. The last fight I watched was uh, be, uh, 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 Danny Garcia, who's a Puerto Rican. Mm -hmm, I know. From Philly. And Zab Judah, who's from Brooklyn. Uh-oh. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. And, and I know because everybody was asking me who I was going for and I just couldn't say it. Well, you'd be very conflicted, yeah. It was very conflicting. But you know, Danny Garcia won. Zab Judah really did well. They went to the whole 12 rounds and I was sitting right behind Oscar De La Hoya and Bernard Hopkins. Wow. And I saw his fight there too at the Barclay and I was just so excited. Um, and I was a little upset because Bernard kept talking to my man and Sixto, not to me. They were t discussing boxing and stuff. And I So they think you don't know about boxing because you're a lady? No, they do know. No, oh, they do? They do Did know. Did you ever box yourself or like keep fit or anything like that? No, but I used to get my ass kicked a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, <coughs> yes, I used to get my ass kicked a lot. And one of my relatives was like, meet me outside. And I go, what for? And she goes, I need to teach you how to fight because you suck. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's true. And so, so she kept hitting me in the face. I'm like, why you keep hitting me in the face? And she's like, because you got to learn to move out of the way. And I was like... Oh. So you let her hit you in the face saying, why are you hitting me in the face? And you didn't, like, naturally go, whoa, hey, hey, like that? <laughs> yes, I did, whoa, well, hey, you know. Oh, yeah. I did that. Do that again, the whoa, well, hey. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but, but, yeah, but I learned to fight after that. And after that, I think I only had, like, two or three fights after that. Nobody wanted to fight me after that because, you know. <laughs> I can't imagine ever wanting to fight you. Me? Hmm. Mm, yeah, no, it wouldn't be a good idea. No. No. Well, it's not the first thing it springs to mind, certainly, I tell you that. It's not. <laughs> what? 
Like, that's news. <laughs> But anyway, I got, I got to go to the Boxing Hall of Fame, and I got to uh, meet Sergio Martinez. Wow. And, and you don't even know who he is. Well, some of them I do, and some of them I don't. I, lo I know He's a lot champion. of boxers from the, from the UK, but oh. I don't know a ton of boxers in, in the US, and, and, but some of them. Did you see uh, uh, Mayweather? Carl Frotch? No. You didn't see Carl Frotch fight no. versus Kessler? Amazing fight over there in the UK. Amazing, amazing fight. Frotch won, but anyway. But yes, I know Mayweather. <laughs> I like Mayweather, he does that weird style like yeah, that. Yeah, and everybody's kind of, copying him. Yeah, Broner, yeah. Broner's copying him. Oh, big fight Saturday. <gasps> oh, my God. No, it's copy. No, seriously. Um, it's, it's Paulie Maglamaggi. I can't say his last name. Pop really? You did so well. All right. <laughs> Paulie from Brooklyn mm -hmm. and uh, Adrian Broner, they're fighting at the Barclay for the title fight. And, uh, you know, I hope all of Brooklyn comes out for Paulie. Uh, Adrian is an excellent fighter. It's going to be a tough fight. And uh, When did we turn into ESPN right here? What the I'm hell sorry, is going I'm on? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, Six still came with me. All right, all right, all right. We've got to take a break. Okay, uh, we okay. have to advertise a lot of manly products. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Rosie Perez, who's what's the the play thing you're doing? Twenty four hour plays. What's 24 that? Twenty four hour plays. Um, it's uh, it's it's uh, a six plays uh, uh, acted by twenty four actors, directed by six directors, six written by six playwrights. Uh -huh. um, I don't know it's, why it's six. It's kind of math. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do, does, does it go on for twenty four hours? It goes on for twenty four hours. We all meet on. Well, in L. A., we're in our third year. And it benefits um, Urban Arts Partnership, and it's an arts ed curriculum that we bring into public schools to help kids comprehend the academics and graduate high school. And we we still stay with them and, men and mentor them all throughout their college career. And like 24 hours, though you're with them 24 no, hours. No, stop that. But, but how do you act for 24 hours? That's like being in a bad marriage. You can't do that. <laughs> It's really, really difficult, but it's fun too. It's really difficult. It's an anxiety. Is it a 24 hour play? Yeah, no, no. Silly. Six plays no. over four. We meet, we meet on. Well, you, I know you meet. The meet play's not the part of it. I get it. you've got to meet, but what happens after that? Then the, the writers go away and write, and, the, and, and then the directors and the actors come in the morning. Oh. And, and then we, we, have, we have seven hours to rehearse and learn the play, and then curtains up at 7.30, and, and it's showtime. And whatever goes, goes. And it's, it's, it's craziness, and it's fun. And oh, it's I, could, I couldn't have and, any part of that. I like rehearsal and a long period of preparation. Yeah. And, um, and what you no, got there? These are the people on it. I don't have my glasses, but... Um, well, let me read it out okay, for you. Right. Right. Oh, are you, are you serious? I can't read all these names. Yeah, but yes, you can. All right. Write this. <laughs> what, which ones? These ones? Yeah. Well, let, oh, right, okay. Yeah, I'm going to say it quickly, all right? Okay. All right, then. Well, a few of the actors are going to be Ian Harding, Anna Camp, Anna, Alia Shokat, Hannah Simone, John Cho, Melanie... Melanie Griffith? Yes, yeah. Hannah. Yeah, yeah. Molly Sims, Sasha Alexander, Seth Green. Oh, I love him. Me too. Mm -hmm. Jason Biggs, he's nice. Yeah. Uh, Justin Long. Justin Long. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wilmer Valderrama. Yeah. <clears throat> Directed by Fred Savage and Andy Ekman. Fickman. Fick Fickman. I'm very excited to see Fred Savage because I never met him. And I only knew I him. met him recently. You did? He's exactly the same. He is? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he's this high? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay. what's weird is when you meet him, there's still the voiceover. <laughs> the image of him with the mole on his face. Oh, yeah, from the Austin Powers. Yeah, mole, mole. Mole, mole, mole. Yeah, mole. yeah and No, he doesn't have a mole. I think that was makeup. I know that. Do you have any moles? Yes. Good. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of time. Rosie Perez, everybody. Oh, yeah.
is an Oscar-nominated actress. You can see her in The Counselor in theatres October the 25th. The beautiful Rosie Perez, everybody. Rosie Perez. Oh, yeah, Tom Cruise, hold on. I keep this little stool back here in case Tom Cruise is ever on the show so that he'll be comfortable. And, oh, hang on. There you are. Yeah, you feel better? Yeah. You've got legs like Tom Cruise, too. Oh! How are you, sweetheart? I'm good. You I, look great. I thought the slit was going to be on the other side. Anyway. No, I like it on that side. If it was on the other side, the robot would be looking at it. And that's... <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Hi, uh, congratulations, you got married. That's I lovely. I got married. Thank you so much. The, you, 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 did you marry someone called Perez, and so you're keeping the name Perez, or are you changing your name? I'm hyphenating. That's what Latin people do. Really? Yeah. All His right, last so, name is Hayes. So it's Perez Hayes or Hayes Perez? Perez Hayes. Perez Hayes. <laughs> I'm Puerto Rican. You're not. I know. I know. All right. All right. Fine. <laughs> That's fine. Did you have a big wedding? No. You said that like I offended you. <laughs> well, you had a little. Did you have a little wedding? A very little. We we got married in Vegas after the Mayweather fight. Oh, because uh... I, I saw you at that. Well, I didn't see you at the fight, but I was watching it on TV. I can't afford to go to these fights, and I uh, <laughs> I saw you get interviewed because you know about boxing. Yes, yes. Did they interview you before the fight or after the fight? It was before the fight. It was it? before the fight. It was doing the undercards, and I didn't know that Showtime was going to do that. And they pulled me in, and, and they asked me what my opinion was. And You said Mayweather, I think, didn't you? I, I implied Mayweather. I, right. I thought, and Sixto was going for kind Oh, yeah, how are things going with your cousin Sixto? <laughs> <laughs> He's angry at me, but everything's fine. Why is he angry at you? Because he didn't go to the wedding, but I told him that we were eloping, and when you elope, you don't go to the wedding. That's true. Well, you know, I... only the two people. But did you tell him you were going to elope? No. All right, so that's fine then. You just eloped. You got Actually, no, I did. I did right before the wedding because I was I was nervous that he was going to be angry. And what he said, I was like, hi, Sixto, I'm, I'm going to get married. And he goes, what? And I said, yeah, we're, we're here in Vegas, so we're going to do it. And he went, what about me? Yeah. And I said, what? And he what goes, about me? <laughs> and he told me I was selfish and I was a bitch and he had a nice suit. <laughs> what? He's selfish and a bitch as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, he, he was that mad at you? He was so angry. He well, how was did you so make angry. it up with him? Did you get him something nice? No, I just ignore him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you guys still fighting? He's fight. He fights with himself. He's right, like, okay. he's stupid. Like the other day I was telling him, no, ser seriously, I asked him the other day, does your stupidity bother you as much as it bothers me, you know? And it's just... What does Sixto do for a living? What does he do for a living? Yeah. Well, um, sometimes he acts, uh -huh. uh, and uh, and and he also, it's kind of private. <laughs> he does stuff. I with, get that. No, so, he does no, stuff. Just, no, he does stuff with Secret Service. He provides stuff. You know, like Secret Service. Stuff. Is that yeah. what we're calling it now? Yeah. <laughs> He's, he he works with the, the he works with the Secret Service. You no, know what I'm no, saying? No, 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 no. It's it's a service and it's secret, no, so it's no. a secret service. <laughs> I asked oh the wrong question. It's all right. No. It's my job. I, my job is to ask questions. Sometimes I ask the wrong question. Oh. I get a little slap. I understand. Oh it's all right. So you got married in Vegas by an Elvis or just a regular? No, no, no. We got married at the MGM Grand Tra Chapel, and uh, and my husband. I love saying that. Yeah, it's nice. I know, right? And so uh, he he arranged everything, and it was really nice. Oh, and my my girlfriend Ileana. No, Ileana and, and our husband David happened to be in Vegas at the same time, so th we told them because we wanted them to be our witness. We didn't want like Joe Schmo and. Yeah, but you, you know, if you're gonna tell them, you should have told Six though. I'm sorry. I, I mean, at that Don't point. Don't say that. I'm just saying. I no, mean, but, you, you... no, because they happen to be there. Well, Sixto could have happened to be there. He could have got there. No, he couldn't. <laughs> he doesn't get things together. All right, fair enough. Yeah, well, it sounds like he gets a few things together are kind of secret. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. So they can't, well, you get married in Vegas. So how long have you been married now then? Since the fight? Or, or September 15th. Was because, that... yeah, the Mayweather fight was September 14th. So now I'll never forget my wedding day. <laughs> Dear, <thank you. laughs> 
You'd never forget anyway, would you? No, it, it, it actually, like, even though it was, like, in a chapel in Vegas and stuff, it was actually really sweet and beautiful, and it was really it's nice. Lovely. How long have you been seeing the, your, your husband? I didn't even know you were dating. Well... Well, I just didn't know. You don't have to look at me like, oh, like I said something mean. I, I didn't know you were dating him, that's all. No, no, no. We, we've known each other for like about 17, 18 years. And, uh, but I kept forgetting who he was. Ah. And, uh... <laughs> and, uh... See, that, that probably affected your relationship a little bit. <laughs> How's your memory now? Is it all right? Like, oh, it's, yeah. It's like wonderful. when you wake up and see him in the morning, you're like, I know who you are. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I used to think, I used to reintroduce myself to him and I'd go, hi, I'm Rose. He goes, you do this to me all the time. And he goes, but that's okay. Like he was so sweet about it and everything. But. Oh, yes. Every time I would reintroduce myself to him, in the back of my head was like, oh, he would make a good husband. <laughs> but then I would forget him, and then I would see him, and then I would do that. Now, how do you know if you just meet someone and if they would make a good husband? I mean, what 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 about him made you think he's a, he's a good husband? Is it looks? Is it is? Well, it... well, you know, looks and sexiness is important. Oh, absolutely, because, you know, absolutely, for sure. You know, after the looks go, you gotta have the sex. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, the looks go after the sex. I thought the looks and the sex came at the same time. I thought it was like looks and then sex and then... Well, that's your bedroom, I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but it was that, you know, he's a good-looking guy and everything, but he was also very kind and, and just really sweet. And also, he loved boxing, so it was... Well, just, that's true, yeah, yeah. You know, because... I'm like always on a impressed Saturday by your night, knowledge of you know? boxing. It's very, very good. You, I mean, you Thank really you. do your stuff. I thought the, uh, in the undercard, what was the name of that Argentinian uh, fighter on the undercard? Uh, Matisse. I thought, yeah, I thought he was going to win I, before the fight. You didn't think so? Uh, I, was, I wasn't sure, but I was rooting for Danny Garcia. Not because he's Puerto Rican, not right. for nothing, you know, and, yeah. and everything. But I was, I was rooting for him, and, and Sixto picked Danny Garcia as well. Yeah, so right. he was right, but he was wrong on Canelo, and I won the bet about Mayweather. Did you actually bet money? No, are you kidding? No. I I, no, I'm not kidding. No. You were in Las Vegas. It was a boxing no, no, match. No, it's no. a I, natural question time. No. I don't gamble because, you know, I was poor and everything. And one time yeah, I, I played, you know, the craps table and yeah. I put $5 and I lost and that was it. I, was I, ne I, I never, ever gambled. Yeah. Never. Because I know what it's like to be poor. I don't need to do research. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. I wonder what it would be like exactly. if, I, if I got poor again. That would not be great. Yeah. Yeah, no, no it wouldn't be. No. But Danny Garcia was underestimated by everyone mm -hmm. and, i think that's true yeah and he is he's such a dynamic fighter i can't wait for his next fight and he was really good you know his father's a little crazy but he loves his son what are you gonna do you know <laughs> i don't think that really matters in the boxing world if you're <laughs> you know if you're if you're crazy in boxing it's it's not like people go well i'm afraid you're not allowed to fight you're a little bit crazy yeah, yeah. <laughs> well your pops is a little crazy so no fighting you know yeah we'll take a break we'll be right back we'll hey. break. Rosie Perez, that's quite a makeup job they got you in that movie. That's uh... yeah, I look busted and disgusted. I was just, oh my god, when I went when I went on the set, you know, because they flew me in London because Ridley Scott doesn't like to um, film outside of London because he's from London, right? Mm. And uh, and so where's he from? London. <laughs> Did you like London? Yeah. Is it your first time there? No. Okay. But I like I liked it, but I didn't like the food. They don't know how to cook, but I like London. <laughs> But anyway, so, so I go to set, you know, and I'm Puerto Rican, so, like, my hair's important. And so it's like, I, it is! I know, I know, I'm enjoying it, okay, that's all, okay. yeah. And, and, and everything, and I, and I, you know, I did my hair all nice and everything. He goes, no, you're in prison. And I said, what? And he goes, and you gotta take off the makeup and put some dark circles under her eyes and make her look, like, ugly. I go, why? <laughs> and I, I said, there's, there's, there's women who do their hair in prison, I yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Have you, have you ever uh, been to a prison? Yes. Well, I wasn't incarcerated. No, I didn't think no. you were. I... No. But I was, I, was, <laughs> I was part of a women's uh, writing group with Glenn Close and Eve Ensler. So I would go up there uh, twice a month and, 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 you know, meet with the girls. And, and they were well-coiffed, you know? Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, because if you got time to hang around in prison, because prison you got some time to sit around, maybe do your hair. And do your hair. Yeah. yeah. The makeup wasn't that great, I have to admit. You know. It's maybe the lighting you're thinking but, about, because yeah. it's all overhead lighting. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it was it was great and and it was it was good for the character and everything. And Michael Fassbender was really sweet and oh, he's, he's quite handsome, isn't he? Yeah, he's handsome yeah. and he's a boxing fan too. Is he really? Yes, that's what we talked about. Really? Yeah, and I was really surprised. And, and I like nice him. Guy. He was. You know what? I liked him in that uh, Quentin Tarantino movie, the uh, Inglorious Bastards. Inglorious Bastards. He was when good he did in the that. three. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah really no, he's great. great. Yeah. yeah, and and Ruben Blades was there too. Oh, wait till you see him in the film. He's so good. Oh, Oh, really? Yeah, he's oh. so, so good. Everybody's good in this film, and it's a very dark, gritty film about the drug cartel and the human course. And, uh, and, and I really like it. Is it a comedy? <laughs> Sorry. I'm so happy for the you that you got married and you're happy. Me too. It's so lovely, Rosie. It is. It's I lovely to see you. Thank you. Thank All right, you. Rosie Perez, everybody. <laughs> tonight is a beautiful little and talented actress. She's author of a new memoir. Oh, hold on there. It's, on, it's right there on the desk. Hang on. Ah, ah, ah. Sorry. Um, it's called uh, Rosie Perez, Handbook for an Unpredictable Life. It's in stores now. Please welcome the adorable Rosie Perez. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Hang on, it's in here. I get it out. The Tom Cruise stool. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Oh, I, oh, never mind. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm commando, so I almost lift up my Whoa! <laughs> Are you really? I'm, well, the dress, you, you know. Y yeah. I'm, you got me thinking now. <laughs> You look great, though. That's a great dress. You look Thank sensational. You. Really, you know, attractive. Hold on. Thank you. What the <laughs> hell? This is some stuff. <laughs> How are you doing? You look great. <laughs> you look nice. <laughs> Thank Did you. Did you heart, heart rollers your hair? Yes. It's nice. Thank you. No, it looks really good. Did you gel yours? Yes. Oh. I didn't gel it. I have a geller. You have a gel? <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations on your book. Did you write this yourself? Yes, I did. I know, it's, it's difficult to write uh, an autobiography. I've done it. Yeah. No. I just made up stories. Did you? <laughs> did you? Is it all true? Yeah, pretty much. Really? What do you mean, pretty much? <laughs> it's my truth. It's like how I remembered it. You know what I mean? So, no? you, like, you made, made some stuff up when it was good? No, 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 no. Like, um, like, my cousin Millie told me, no, this relative died after that relative. And I said, okay, what else did I get wrong? And she goes, that's it. And I go, oh, so, you know. Well, yeah, I guess that's all right. Uh, <laughs> is there photographs in it? Yes, there are. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, all right. That's my mother. That's my father. That's my grandmother. <laughs> uh, what's this here? That's the home. That's the Catholic home with the nuns. Is that a, a, a sad and frightening chapter? Yes. <laughs> that's the nuns! Is that you with the hat on? Yes, that's me with the hat on. Oh, you're so pretty. Aww. Yeah, I mean, you're pretty now, but you were pretty that's then. That's when I was younger. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mm -hmm. when I was younger. <laughs> that's my sister, Carmen. That's the summer she got. Ay, caramba! <laughs> She thought she was like hot, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you know, we all do when we get those, don't we? <laughs> did, you, did you have to? Because when I did mine, the the publishers made you may go through all the old uh, family photographs and look them out. I found it a kind of weird experience. Not always happy, actually. I'll say. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have a rough childhood? I did. Really? Yeah. What happened? Well, 
My mother, she was, uh, she suffered from mental illness and when I was a week uh, old, she sent me to my aunt's house on my father's side, said, I'm gonna go to the store, I'll be right back. And she didn't come back for three years. Oh. And then she took me to put me in a, in a convent run by nuns. And uh, they all are. Yeah. <laughs> And, and some of the nuns were really nice, but majority of them were like evil, reincarnated, like demonic. Is this a movie you saw? Or is no! This is real, this is real. Like one of the girls that was one of my best friend, Crazy Cindy. That's not, that's not her real name, but I had, but the crazy part is. And, All right, um, right, right, and, um, and I, I remember I, I was asking her and I said, why are the nuns so mean? And she goes, because they're lesbians and they can't have sex. <laughs> ha, ha, hang on a second. <clears throat> the views expressed by Crazy Cindy <laughs> in no way represent the views of CBS or me or anyone else. I can't see that on TV. Oh. Sorry. I mean, uh, maybe. No, it, it, that oh, was a, that, that's when we were kids. That's when we were kids. Right. That's oh, not, right. Yeah. It's yeah. Actually, that yeah. doesn't count. Right. No. Okay. You know. You got to stop touching me. You're married now. Oh, stop it. Yeah, well, you touched my leg right there when you did oh, it. Oh my God. Do does it go through all your, like? Why? Did, how did you end up going from a convent into show business? Then? How did that happen? Well, I was I was going to college for biochemistry. Okay. And... Stop. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get into biochemistry? Don't let the accent fool you, okay? No, 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 You got the wrong guy, you got the wrong guy. You're looking for a racist? Right over there. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't mean that, I just mean it's a very specific thing, biochemistry. It's like, what yeah. do you want to be? Biochemist, I mean, that's... Well, because I almost drowned when I was 12 and I got obsessed. And so I was like, I'm with gonna Soren be... Kierkegaard? <laughs> <laughs> no, with marine biology. So oh, I really? wanted to be a marine biologist. Why is that funny? Is that funny? <laughs> Don't worry about them. They're lesbians and they can't have sex. <laughs> Which, by the way, excuse me, I just have to... I know lesbians can have sex. I'm not saying that the lesbians... I'm just, you know, it's just a call... Never mind. Uh... No, but if you're a lesbian and you're a nun, then you can't have sex. Right, well, you, you can't have any sex. It's a celibacy. You, right. it's the whole idea is to abstain from sex, whether it be heterosexual or homosexual sex, is to abstain from all sexual congress. Yes. Yeah, that's why I never did it. Anyway, look... <laughs> So you became obsessed with biochemistry, so you went to college and then decided that... Then I wanted to go back to Brooklyn because I hated Los Angeles. And the night I was leaving, I went to a nightclub and I bumped into Spike Lee. We got in an argument and he said, this is fate. I want you to be in a movie. And then I became an actress. Really? Yes. What were you, what were you arguing with Spike Lee about? It's an old story. <laughs> I'm an old man. <laughs> Tell me the damn story. So, <laughs> so what happened? You, you, he was having a butt contest to see which black woman had the biggest butt. Well, he's changed a bit, hasn't yes. he? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure he's very proud of this story. <laughs> he's always like calling me, Rosie, that's not how it happened. I go, that's how it happened. He goes, yeah. no, that's not how it happened. Well, you know that's going to happen. A lot of people that you were around are going to call you up. Did you, did you dish out anyone? Did you tell any tales? You did? <laughs> did you get into trouble? You did? <laughs> what's what's going to happen? Are people going to sue you and stuff? They can. Because it's real? Yeah. <laughs> did you write about me in there? Am I in there? <laughs> Because I'll, I'll sue you. <laughs> it's tricky, though, because I remember when, when, I was, when I was doing it, when you write about people that, you know, there's some people you want to tell the truth, but they, like if they become famous and stuff, then... Go. Yeah. But, you know, I, you know there's, there's a disclaimer, and, and, I, and I change uh, certain people's name. I didn't change Spike's name, but, you know... <laughs> He can handle it. He's he a, can. Yeah, he's fine. And we're friends. Yeah, that's you know? good. He'll never put you in another movie, but he'll be fine. <laughs> no, It'll be we're fine. Cool, did, we're you, cool. did you call up people and ask their, their uh, advice and stuff? 
Like, you know, did you say, do you mind if I tell you that, that story about that time you I were did, comparing did, butts you know in what? that nightclub? Yeah, no, I didn't call Spike for that one, but okay. I should have. But, um, like, I called uh, Woody's uh, Harrison's, I called his wife, because I was going to tell a story about him, so I called his wife to get her, her okay. And did she say okay? Yeah. So what's the story? <laughs> <laughs> Read the book. I can't say it. Well, well, just tell me what page it's on, then. I... Oh my God, you're making me blush. Is it a blushy story? Yeah. Did you do Woody Harrelson? <laughs> no. no, 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 no. A little no. bit. A little, yeah. <laughs> I'm going. I swear, I'm going to read this. <gasps> There's a cuss word in here. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot. Wow, you swear a lot here. <laughs> you're making me blush. Well, I've never heard you swear. I know. But you swear like crazy. What do you mean? I just sweared in the first 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, that's like right. Yeah. No, here. I made it up. How have you been otherwise? You've been busy? What's going on? I've been, Writing a book? Yes. Oh. Yeah, I'm, 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 you're married now? How long? I, uh, since September. Oh, congratulations. That's uh, 10 years in Hollywood. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can never forget our, our wedding anniversary since it was the day after the Mayweather fight, so that's how I remember it. Yeah, that's always the best way. Put it near a large sporting event. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> but no, everything, everything's good. You're and... still crazy for the boxing then? You're still going to Yes, fight? yes, yes. I'm, I, I'm not going to go to the Canelo Alvarez fight. It's in uh, Vegas on Saturday, but I will be watching. And, uh, is, he... it on, is it on the pay-per-view? Because I might watch that one. Yes, it's on the pay-per-view. Canelo's an interesting one. Did you see that Canelo's fight last year against Trout? Yes. Do you think he won that fight? I do. Okay. I do. I do. I think he won that fight. It was a close fight. It's very close. And Austin Trout is a very good boxer, so yes. I hope he comes back. You know, yeah. But it was a very close fight, but Canelo Alvarez did win that fight. Well, do you know with that, in that fight, though, when... Uh, we'll be right back. But the, you know that... <laughs> you know that fight where... Um, <laughs> He, uh, when uh, Trout fell, I think he fell. I don't think that Canelo knocked him over. You think he knocked him over? I think he got the best of him. I think, I think he, he, uh, he surprised Trout. You know, well, that, yeah, I think, that's I, not taking any, anything away from Trout because he's a good boxer. Uh, I think, you think Canelo's going to win on Saturday? I think Canelo has a lot to prove on Saturday because... After the Mayweather fight, that was a big loss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Mayweather took it's him. It's no shame to lose to Mayweather, though. No, I mean. there isn't. But the way he lost, it was it was a one-sided fight. So he has a lot to prove on Saturday, and he's fighting a really tough slugger, this guy uh, um, Angulo in the, from Mexico, to right. Mexico to Mexican. And um, so you know, but I think he he might have the slight edge. Can I just interrupt you a second? You didn't think this was going to happen, did you? <laughs> We'll be right back with Rosie Barrett. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. I was just. I was just talking to Rosie about her. He's your cousin, Sixto, right? Yes. And you always talk about him when you're here, and I've never met him or seen him. Or, in fact, I don't even know he, if he really exists. He does exist. He was going to send you a video, but he got nervous. A video of what? Not like that. Like what? <laughs> he was going to say hello and introduce himself. He well, probably would... He could, he could call me if he wants. He could... <laughs> oh, hang on. Here, you, you get it in case it's Sixto. Okay. Hello? Hey, no. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? It's, uh, I think it's probably... So Hello? Who's six this? Time. Yeah, it's, uh, it's me. What's up, girl? <laughs> Does that sound like... No, Sixto? no, he has a Mexican accent. He oh, he has a... He has a, a Mexican bad. accent! <laughs> yeah, hey, he has uh, a uh, Orale, what's going on, man? What's happening? No, 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 no. Sixto has... Why am I talking to the phone? <laughs> Puerto Rican accent, this guy has a bad Mexican oh, accent. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, goodbye. I'm still here. Oh. <laughs> you are a you are a racist. <laughs> no, you're a racist. Whoa. You're a racist. <laughs> so uh, we're out of time. Okay. Do you do meditation? No. Maybe you should. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Or yoga. Do you do yoga? I'd love I to do, see you doing yoga. Not in this dress. Man, that's, that's the dress I want to see you doing yoga. <laughs> do you do yoga? Uh, 
No, no. I do Pilates. To... Pilates? I like Pilates. That's the one with the equipment and the... Yeah, know. but you don't need the equipment. I do Pilates down at the Mark Morris with Nathaniel. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> he, he, he's he's the, the, the Pilates instructor at the Mark Morris Dance uh, Studio in Brooklyn. Oh, you still do the dancing then, right? I dance in my house. Do you wear that dress? <laughs> Only for my Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How creepy was my laugh there when I went, yeah. Yeah, it was like kind of Dracula. Oh, my gosh. Oh, come on, it wasn't that creepy. I know. I was just, I'm going to have to call my husband and explain the show. <laughs> if you can explain this show, there's plenty of people want to hear from you. <laughs> A lot of them at CBS. <laughs> All right, uh, let's uh, meditate then. Or we can do an awkward pause. Uh, uh, um, whatever. Whatever creams your Twinkie, I'm with. <laughs> you know what you mean. Cream's my Twinkie. <laughs> Cream's my Twinkie. That's my new saying. No, it's not sexual. You make everything <laughs> sexual. <laughs> It means what makes you happy, you know? Whatever cream is my drinking. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you very much, everybody. Very much. <laughs> I feel like such a big show business pansy all of a sudden. <laughs> You talk to an astronaut and then suddenly I'm sitting here going, Ooh, hey, remind you of anyone? <laughs> He's been to space. I've been to Reno. <laughs> <laughs>